Hello again. Um, today we're going to work on a portrait, a tonal portrait, which I know probably several of you have already tried. It's always worth doing again. Um, just to give you some inspiration, a couple of images um, where people have just, the artist has really just concentrated on just the tone and it's really a beautiful way of working, very soft. This is Sura. He's um, kind of, he's one of the pointillists. He, he actually started pointillism, which is that type of painting with lots of little dots of color. His drawings were incredible. Let's see if you can look them up. And the other one is by Petr Kolvitz. He did an awful lot of self-portraits. And see how kind of like it, it's just emerging from this, um, this background of tone. So we're gonna try and do something like that. So see if you can find yourself a good photograph of someone preferably someone you know. Make sure in any case that it's printed up good and big and it's got some really good um, contrast in it. Lots of darks, lights, mid-tones because that makes it a lot easier to do this exercise. So I'm gonna work on this photograph, from this photograph, amazing photograph. I think I've showed it to some of you before. I love it. It's by Jane Bowen, and um, I just love the expression on her face. So w what I start off by doing is just giving myself some kind of where the features are. You know, just even the angle of them. And a little bit of the shape of the head. Not too much until you're kind of sure of everything else. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it all a light kind of like a wash, you know, um, just on the side of the graphite pencil. So that's just the background it's going to be on. And what you're doing is you're kind of where you find the, where the features, the features kind of emerge out of this background. It's kind of, all I'm doing is pressing a bit harder. Where they are. And I'm, you can use the edge of it, end of it to sort of emphasize detail like that. I'm looking at kind of things like the angle, the distance they are from each other. See, I can use this to pick out something like the nostril, but then I can, kind of go back to doing this just to say for instance get this whole area of tone here on this side of her face which actually goes all the way up so I can just do that actually and then I can kind of make it particularly dark right here So you can, it takes a bit of practice doing it quite softly, but it's nice when you do that and then you've got this, and every now and again you can bring a bit of um, edge to it by using the point of a graphite. By the way, you could always use the side of a pencil if you don't have a graphite stick. And you can of course use this technique with so many materials like charcoal, um, pastel, compressed charcoal or Conte crown if any of you have got any of those things you can totally use them and if I make a mistake I can just erase it um, pastel you won't be able to so much you won't be able to erase it <laughs> just letting you know but um, graphite you certainly can and I think it gives a really nice um, feel, graphite. And it's slightly easier to control. And the other thing is that you can go in with a regular pencil and it's the same. It's obviously, they're the same thing. Graphite is what pencils are made with. 
so you can work into it. Really light here where the cheek is. Super light. And then, you know, you can start looking at these shadow shapes, like where the eye is, because in this whole shape that's almost like a triangle, you see that? And the eye doesn't fill that whole triangle. There's a lot of um, tone around it. So, you know, for instance, I can kind of really get the shadow shape just in with, like in that sort of way. And then I can work in to where the eye is here. Just going really gradually to find it. Making sure I leave enough space between the two eyes. Luckily for me, this eye is hidden because <laughs> it's so hard getting two eyes to work. Really good for doing things like hair because you can use it on its side like this and get these kind of great lines like that. Let's find her shape of her face a bit more like here because then she has this hair that comes down like this. You can really, really have fun with this. So I'm just going to keep going for a bit. Here I'm kind of coming to kind of the end, but I could actually keep going and going. Um, and I'm thinking about the background and how I want the background to feel. Uh, I kind of like it just being suggested areas of tone like this. Um, I'm also kind of bringing in, you know, you can bring in some really fine detail where you can really work with the expression course you can kind of bring the pencil in that will really help so with con you know controlling that because with portraits is the tiniest little thing sometimes like even just what you do at the mouth here it just can determine the expression so you can fine-tune it and even work into some kind of stronger tones just like that. <laughs> 